We were sent this Frenchie board. Look at this, how cute it is for our review. And of course, we're big fans of Frenchie. We have Walter, our little French bulldog right here. And I wanted to kind of really do this for the very first time on camera, show you how really, really anyone can do this. Decorate a Frenchie board. I've got fruits, I've got some veggies, uh, I've got even like little ramkins to, you know, I like to start with the eyes. So I'm gonna start with that just to give me an idea. And uh, let's, uh, let's look at what we can do. Usually what I think looks great, especially with these shapes, because it's such a well-made uh, board, things are not just gonna slip out because of that border, right? So really what I can do is, I'm gonna go like this. And with the blueberry blueberries, because of the harsh contrast, I can actually just do the whole lining, just like that, the whole border, make it look really, really cute. Look at that. And then you can already see kind of the shape of, oh, Walter is loving it, right? Kind of the shape take right there in front of your eyes. I'm gonna finish this whole line and then we'll go to the next step. And there's a blueberry line. Look how cute already. It's taken shape. <laughs> you can really tell that is a Frenchie uh, shape. I kind of love the, the black and, um, or the brown and white in there. It looks like he's winking. This is uh, chocolate and this is ranch because we're gonna be using fruit and vegetable like I said before. So let's do a little bit of strawberry just like that here. Of course I'd be using um, gloves if I were uh, to give this to my friends. But of course, we're gonna be eating it here in our house. <laughs> this is exciting. Even Walter is, is excited. And I've got some extra blueberries because it's always, always important to stay fed while making your little Frenchie board. So there you go, just like that. I'm gonna do two lines on each side. Try to make it obviously, um, you know, so it's like symmetric uh, and make sure that it looks uh, together. Uh, great, especially if you, if, if, and if you are always, I, I like to look at it from the top to make sure that I'm doing a good job. I've got some bananas right here, just like that. I'm not gonna go crazy on the bananas. I'm just gonna do one line. You know what, what I'm gonna do? I've got extra strawberries, so I'm just gonna add the strawberries just like that. Beautiful, look at that, already already looking good. Now, because I have ranch, so this is for the chocolate, and I've got ranch, so I'm gonna add some carrots. And honestly, right now, it's so easy to just kind of go with the flow, go with the shape, because the shape is already there. So if you wanna, you know, if you wanna line them around the border, you can do that. I like to kind of like give it um, a little bit more of a straight edge, just like this. Look at that, that's cool. So again, keeping the same way for both sides. And this can be done with charcuterie. I've, we've done it with um, great stuff with some ham and, and, uh, and all this kind of stuff. It, it's, it's so cool and so easy to do. Look at this. Now I'm just adding the top part right there of his ears. I think Walter's impressed. Walter, do you like it? Looks, looks good, huh? Yeah? Oh, I don't know about this one. What do you think? We should, we should use this one? Yeah, I think he's gonna use that one, yeah. Good, good, almost done. Look at that, for your next party, how cute that is. People are gonna be talking about it for sure. You almost don't wanna touch it, it's so pretty. Look at that, we're all done. And of course you could add more things on the side. Uh, you, could, you could add more ramekins if you want. I like the two ramekins because it actually looks like the eyes and of course this is super pretty. They also, have a really cool cutlery uh, that actually fit with the theme of the French uh, Bulldog. Uh, I love using these for cheeses, for example. Uh, I usually use this to just pick at fruit if you want to um, be able to give that to your guests. The spoon is great for the sauces, whether it's you know sweet or savory. And of course this, if you're doing a butterboard, this is a must, absolutely. And then check this out, guys. This was the big one, but of course, if you want, you can also have a smaller one. How cute is that? Walter is a fan of both, actually. Right, Wally? Good boy. Look how beautiful those are. 